Hello everybody, welcome back to Collecting and Hobbies. Today we're going to do another one of many makeup reviews. Um, we're going to do the figure of Rogue One's Chirrut and Way. This is actually one of my favorite characters as far as Rogue One goes. And um, for a five POA figure, I mean, he still he just still has the you know molded onto his leg robe piece, but the way he looks, you know, like in his regular standing position, he looks pretty good. He's got an extra little. This is really super soft plastic really rubbery especially on the bottom it's very flexible and this particular figure was one of the very first made um i got this like in early august of 2016 because uh retailer sell these but Looking for his date code. But if you see my previous videos, um, it's 62071. So the 207th day of 2016, that would be 180 would be June. Plus 30, that'd be July. Yeah, he was made in like probably late July. So he was definitely one of the first ones. Now, I think he's in um, actually, he's in wave two. But these are his accessories that he came with. It's a little bit warped slightly. If you look at it dead on. Here. Kind of hard to do. <laughs> Let's try to hold it the right way. But yeah, uh, it is slightly warped. But uh, you could probably you could fix that with hot water, and it does move. It's like like that. So this this is kind of like uh, his accessory that he had in the movie, or his weapon. You know, crossbow is made to look like this weapon. So it's not just some random thing. And of course, you got the missile that goes into it. So you want the part, the ridge up, going this way, and put it another way in. Then all you got to do. It's just barely wow tap it all the way over there <laughs> it shot a good three or four feet before it hit something and of course uh, now this particular figure because of the way he is balanced with those legs like that he can probably hold this while he's standing up, it won't be too heavy for him. The funny thing is, it doesn't really fit him. Let's see. It's really too big. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. He's one of the few figures that will stand up. Actually, if you look at it closely, what's keeping him up is the bottom of the back of the rubber piece. That's why he stands so easily. Because he doesn't. And that way, without it, he can also stand. And then it's not the rubber thing holding him up. So he's a lot balanced better than like Goose Towers or Goss Towers or whatever his name is. I think that was a actually a uh, misprint. I was looking at his instruction booklet 
I just did a review of him recently and uh, it said G O O S instead of G O S or G O O S S, uh, something like that. But, uh, I think that was a misprint. Now, one thing a lot of people are complaining about is um, supposedly his hand right here is a separate piece that's glued in. It's not all part of the same sculpt, supposedly. I don't know if I really want to twist this. It doesn't move, so it should, though, because he comes with his staff, and, you know, any figure that holds a weapon like this, would look a lot better if they could, you know, have swivel waist or swivel wrist or something. Now the likeness on this particular figure looks pretty good, I say, but his eyes, to me at least, look a little bit up high. I don't know if that's accurate or not. And get a better focus. There you go. Maybe. But anyway, there you go. So he has a pretty good likeness. And it is hard to find one that has a perfect paint job, though. Because there's like holes, indentions, and stuff on these. And. It took me a while to find one that had a decent paint job. I don't know if that was something that was corrected later on, but like if you've seen uh, my previous videos where I'm opening these for the very first time, there's some of them that are just, they seem to have a lot of paint issues when the, the very first ones that came out. If you look closely too on his neck, it's very, it could have used an extra coat of paint. I never noticed that before. At least, mainly because his head, I don't look at him from that angle normally. So, yeah, he's only five points of articulation. You know, he moves at the shoulders, the hips, and uh, the ball jointed head neck or whatever you want to call it but this is an extra separate piece so that's a good thing because it's just rubber it doesn't get in the way but yep that's about it really he comes with his little his signature staff he actually has a tighter grip on this side on the left side um you know, the way he's holding that, it almost looks as if... If they made this a separate piece, I wonder if they were originally intending to give him a swivel wrist. Because they really should have. Or maybe they're intending this instead to be more like a walking stick like Yoda. Instead of a fighting staff. Because I'm sure he doesn't fight all the time. Where he doesn't want to. And he is blind. So <laughs> he's blind but has the force. <laughs> yeah, so the detailing on him is really well, is really good. The paint job's pretty good. Don't really see any errors on this one that much. Um, except for maybe that neck part could be better. But. Yeah, the molding could be a little better. It's not completely sanded down. Or they pulled it off the plastic to pull the head off of the mold. 
But yeah, super articulated version. Supposedly they might be doing that. There is a possibility, they said, with the new vintage collection. Um, so it's cool that they made his accessory at least somewhat like his actual weapon that he uses in the movie. At least it's not something random. It's got like this tube right there. Mm, it's kind of. That's about it. It doesn't really have a whole lot of detail. Just a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, somebody actually asked me, it's like, when are you going to do this figure? Because I thought I already did. But uh, it was also on that card that got mess up, messed up, the memory card. So, since I just happened to have them sitting here. Whoops. <laughs> I hit the table. But uh, it's happened to have them sitting out or in this bag. With the other figures that I just reviewed. There he is. It's Chirrut Mway. I would say this is a... Especially if you don't want to pay 20 bucks for the 6 inch. Actually, he's going for more than that online. He's going for more like 30 something. Um, or if you collect his scale, I say he's a must get. Especially if you like Rogue One. He is a really cool character. And Rogue One. So that's my review of Chirrut Mway from the basic assortment of Star Wars Rogue One figures from Hasbro, and I will see you next time.